Um, I was returning the rental car, and my family just said, stay there, because they were eva or putting everybody in a safe place in Terminal 2, because they heard gunshots, and they ran. My 90-year-old grandma's in there. Um, <laughs> she ran. <laughs> yeah, they're fine. They're in a Delta staff lounge. Um, uh, back to Michigan. Uh, so, as you just heard, Brooke, uh, just like this uh, young lady here, there are several uh, other families that are essentially stranded as Fort Lauderdale Airport has closed down operations. We're going to keep getting more information and bring it to you as soon as we yep. uh, get a, our heads around what we're watching here. Bless her heart, uh, all those people waiting and wondering. Boris, thank you. Thank you to you and your crew. Uh, Jonathan Wackro has just been seated. He's former uh, Secret Service. What, what do you make of this? People just running and running? What's going on? Listen, law enforcement has, has shown up onto an active scene, and they're going through their protocols for an active shooter. They're going out there, one, trying to stop the active shooter, and two, provide you know, a secure environment. Everything that we're seeing right now is, is just confusion. We're seeing different groups, you know, whether it's airport operations, the, uh, the crisis communication is, is really falling apart here. To see that much confusion on the air side, which is supposed to be the secure side, uh, which is where the planes are, is, is absolutely amazing uh, to me. People are dispersing in all locations. Uh, again, the airport authority is not controlling that situation on, the both, on both sides. You know, law enforcement, first and foremost, is showing up to do the job, to put the threat down. Other organizations that are, that are there are, are supposed to work in tandem to that to remove the public, get them away from the threat. Here we see a threat that was, you know, you know just yards away, and people are sitting on, on, on the sidewalk. That, to me, makes no sense. Ari? Yeah, John, I mean, you took the words right out of my mouth here. The fact is that we see all these people running. If you're, let's say, you were in the airport and something like this happens, if there was no direction, you were just going to take off. All right, you're going to go in any direction you can. So if you're, if you're, you know, beyond security, and you hear gunshots, and you know something is going on, if they're not directing you in the airport where to go, you're, you're going to run right out to the tarmac. Now, what they should do is they should have protocols, you know, and, and it's, this is not on the police. Like John, John said, you know, the police are there for one reason and one reason only, to get rid of that threat and secure that location. This is the airport that's got to have protocols together in the event something like this happens. Where are these people going to go? When you've got all these people on the tarmac, there ain't going to be no more flights taken out of this airport. There are probably people that went past security without even being checked. All right, in the event when this is finally all over, all right, everybody's going to have to come back and go through security again to be able to take off out of that airport. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a lot of confusion here. Uh, there's no direction out there on the tarmac. You can see some people running this way, some people running that way. Um, who's out there directing them to, uh, to where they should go, which is a safe location? All right, gentlemen, stand by. I've got Florida Senator Bill Nelson, who's joining me uh, now. Senator Nelson, um, you know, it's, it's